Hi everyone, it's Lisa and welcome to Make It Monday. Today I'm going to teach you how to make this really cute top note card. Let me show you what it does. Inside there's a little insert. I've also stamped a coordinating envelope using the stamp set. So let me show you how I created this. You're going to need a piece of designer paper and it needs to be cut six inches by nine inches and then we're going to score it. Using my Stampin' Trimmer, I'm going to go ahead and score on the inside. So I'm going to use this on the inside, use the polka dots on the outside. And with the light colored blade on the Stampin' Trimmer, I'm going to score it at three and three quarters and then seven and a half. So I get to open up this little extended arm. Okay, and then you're going to turn it and we're going to score it at one inch. Okay, and that's all that's needed. Now I know it's difficult to see, so I'm going to bring in a piece of paper that I have already done out of white scrap, just so that you can kind of see what I've done. Okay, I'm gonna piece that together. So this is technically the exact same thing that I have here. It's just out of white so that you can see me on the video. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut away this left side and this right side, leaving just this middle flap, so that when this goes together, this will come up this will come over and this will close, which will create the pocket for this card. So let's go ahead and do it on our designer paper. I'm gonna use my bone folder for this project, just gonna make sure my um, paper is straight. Is the other side, the fold, and then finally the last one. Now what I like to do is I like to kind of just eye putting it together so that if I have to tweak my fold just a hair, if my measurement was off, then everything is gonna line up nicely. So there we have it. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut away those panels. So here's the first one. And here's the second one. Now, if you're real proficient with your paper trimmer, you can go ahead and do this. But for the sake of the video, I just use my paper snips. Okay, so before we put our snail on, we're gonna to wanna to create a small half inch circle here for the card. So on the center panel from the front side, this is the old style punch. You're gonna come in halfway. Now on these old style punches, if you have one, you're gonna notice that there's little notches on either side. That indicates the halfway mark. So I'm just gonna go in, I'm just gonna eyeball like the center of this. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so there we go. Next, I'm gonna put some snail adhesive down here. And then I'm gonna put snail adhesive down here and I'm going to seal this shut. All right, now the seam is going to be the back side. I like to put all my seams to the back. So now we have a pocket with the notch in the front. The insert for this is cut three and a half by four and three quarters. And you're going to see on this one that I've gone ahead and I stamped um, a greeting. This is from the stamp set one in a million. And that's going to fit down inside here. Now, let me show you how I made the top, which was this piece here. It is a pre-cut piece of, from the top note die, which I love. This is um, a great investment. I've used it for lots and lots of things. You've seen other videos with it. So I've gone ahead and cut that out. Using my paper trimmer, I found this to be the easiest way. I lined up the points just inside the cutting track, but I'm going to use the scoring blade, which is the light one, to score up the center so that I've got a nice um, crease. I'm just gonna fold this, all right. Then I went ahead and I stamped the same greetings that coordinate with the thank you from that stamp set one in a million. So now I'm gonna bring the ribbon in and I'm gonna move it all the way over to this side because I'm gonna make my knot on the opposite side for my words. With my paper snips, I'm just gonna give this a little trim. All right, now we're ready to punch. So I'm going to line this up and I'm going down all the way. And you can see that there's a very small margin here um, for you to put the whole punch in. I'm gonna use the mini silver brads. And I'm gonna take two of those out. All right, so this is all the way down and I'm just gonna eye it to get the center. And I'm gonna hold it closed and end with my 1 16th inch circle punch. I am gonna punch a hole right down near the bottom. 
and I love these little mini brads because they're really easy to work with and they're very very pliable turn those prongs to the back and then on the other side I'm going to do the exact same thing so here's one I created um, with the sentiment inside and then the one I created today I hope you've enjoyed this project and I look forward to seeing you next week for Make It Monday. Mm -hmm.